Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the topic related with soil mechanics in the topic of retaining wall. So in the particularly the active earth pressure using Ribbon graphical method. Okay, so uh, there are a lot of methods available for find out the active earth pressure. That is Rankine's theory, Coulomb's theory, Ribbon graphical method, then Coleman graphical method. So from that today we are going to see the Ribbon graphical method. For the Ribbon graphical method, so we need uh, three things. So that is uh, beta, then phi then psi ok so the both three angles we need and also the gamma that is unit weight of soil ok so this is unit weight so psi is earth pressure line so this is angle of internal friction So this is surcharge angle, ground line. Okay, so that is surcharge angle. Okay, so the procedure to find out the uh, find out the earth pressure. So first thing we have to draw the ground line and coefficient of earth pressure line. So that is okay. So this angle is beta. That is ground line. and we can draw phi line ok so this is phi line with horizontal ok so now we can connect both so this is the height so the height of retaining wall so we can take this one is a and this one is b and this one is d ok so after that we can draw the psi line so from the bd Okay, so BD as the base and we can draw the psi line. Okay, so this is psi line. Okay, so we can take uh, this one is H. Okay, so next thing is we can take BD as the diameter and draw the semicircle. Okay, okay so now we, can, we draw the semicircle. After that we can draw A and G ok so A G parallel to the side line ok so this is A and G ok so from that partic so from that we can draw the perpendicular line and meet the semicircle ok so this is the perpendicular that is 90 degree and here also 90 degree this is point as J ok after that we can draw the B J line as a dotted one. So now we can take this one is a radius and draw the arc and cut the B D. Okay. So now we can take B J as the radius and draw the one arc and cut the B D. Okay. So now we can draw the arc that is B D. The point will be E. Okay. So after that we can draw the line is parallel to the psi line and a j and e to c ok so this is a parallel lines so this line and this one and this one so both three is parallel lines ok so now we can take so now we can take e c as the radius and we can draw the arc ok now this point is k ok so now connect c and k Okay, so now we can take the perpendicular line as X and K E. So this point is F. Okay, so now, so these are all the thing we have to draw. After that, we can easily find out the active earth pressure using the relation. So that is active earth pressure equal to gamma into triangle of K C E. Okay, so the area of KCE. So now we can take PA equal to gamma into half into KE into X. Okay, half BH formula. So KE is base B value and this one is H value is X. So we can take the active earth pressure PA equal to half into gamma into KE into X. 
so using this relationship we can easily find out the active earth pressure okay so if we draw the exact uh, angles in all the dimensions everything is uh, in a uh, graph we can easily find out the values okay so this is the rayburn graphical method okay so now uh, we can take uh, this is slip line so this is slip line so this is phi line so this angle is psi because this is all the parallel lines and here is uh, phi minus beta so this is the rayburn graphical method using uh, this graphical method we can find out the active earth pressure okay so again we will see next video thank you